My name is Brendan Lee, and I'm a candidate for the Master's in Educational Technology from Boise State University, finishing in August 2016. Over the next several minutes, I will guide you through artifacts that help to demonstrate my mastery of the Association for Educational Communications and Technology Standards. AECT Standard Number 1 focuses on content knowledge. In particular, the work that I created for EdTech 542 Technology Supported Project-Based Learning entitled BYOD PBL demonstrates my knowledge of effective technology integration, digital citizenship, and project-based learning. The unit is a fully realized unit complete with assessments and therefore demonstrates my ability to create, use, assess, and manage theoretical applications of educational technologies and processes. This particular project demonstrates how we can look at educating students about life in a BYOD setting in a manner that is both rich in content and enables the students to inquire into the subject. The course itself was designed in the PBL model, which meant that I was not only creating a PBL unit of work, but experiencing one in action. Being a student and experiencing what it was like to work within PBL gave me valuable insights into the experiences of a student. Through the process, I got to experience what effective peer evaluation is like and experience its benefits for myself. As a result, I will be changing how I design units to ensure that peer evaluation plays a more integral part in the process. In viewing my work, I hope educators are inspired by the possibilities of technology integration and begin to develop units of work that move away from using tech simply as a way to obtain information to one where the technology is viewed as a way for the students to interact with the material. AECT standard number two focuses on content pedagogy. In EdTech 541, I had the opportunity to create several units that demonstrate my knowledge of content pedagogy. In Healthy Me, Healthy You, Integrating Language, PE, Music, and Art, I developed several smaller activities which tied language individually into smaller activities, and one overarching unit which combines all of the individual lessons into one massive cross-curricular unit. Going through the process of creating cross-curricular units, I was reminded to always keep in mind the big key step in developing good content pedagogy is taking the time to reflect on your experiences to improve on the units of work. In EdTech 505, Evaluation for Educational Technologists, I had the opportunity to evaluate the coding elective that I ran using the ABCs of the evaluation by John Bolmetis and Phyllis Dutwin. By going through this style of evaluation, I not only learned how to conduct the evaluation in this style and see the benefits of such a detailed analysis, but also ended up learning how to change my elective to make it better. By viewing my work, I hope that educators are inspired to think of the possibilities when it comes to creating cross-curricular units of work, and of the importance of evaluating not just our students, but the programs that we choose to run. AECD standard number three is all about learning environments. In EdTech 503, I had the opportunity to develop a scheme of work for the non-teaching staff at my school to help improve competency with Google Apps for Education using the ADDIE model of instructional design. The process required a lot of research and time to develop the unit. The work presented was designed to be an inquiry-based unit where participants could choose their area of Google Apps to improve it. Going through the process of creating an instructional design product in the ADDIE model was highly informative and gave me a new way to view developing units of work, especially professional development sessions, which have been useful in my role as a technology integrator. When creating units of work, it is important to think about students with diverse backgrounds and abilities. In EdTech 502, I had to create several web pages from scratch, code and all, with each one focusing on a different topic. Going through the process of learning about web design and accessibility issues made me more conscious in how to design web pages so that all people are able to access the material.
Viewing my work, I hope that educators are able to think about how they could adapt the Abbey model of instructional design into their work. Additionally, I hope that educators become more aware of the possible issues that viewers may have when accessing the materials they create online. AECT standard number four is all about professional knowledge and skills. During my two and a half years in the Boise State Ed Tech program, I've had several opportunities to develop my professional knowledge and implement assessments with a community of practice. In Ed Tech 503, I had the opportunity to create a unit of work for the non-teaching staff at my school centered on Google Apps for Education. As part of the development of the unit, I had to contact a subject matter expert who reviewed and critiqued the work that I created. In viewing this sample of work, I hope that educators are inspired to seek out the opinions of others who are experts in the field, be it mathematicians, scientists, historians, or technology directors, as their insights will often provide information that will help you to improve your work. Additionally, if at first the information you get isn't enough to help you, don't be afraid to go back and ask follow-up questions until you get the information that you need. In EdTech 521, I had the opportunity to reconstruct a unit to integrate technology. The work that I created has the students creating a digital timeline of a famous scientist's life. As part of the project, I had to go through the process of creating all the projects that the students are asked to make. Through the process of actually creating the projects that I was asking the students to make gave me a better understanding of how the unit unfolds and potential problems they may experience. As a result of this, I'm going to try to go through the creative process as well when designing units. In viewing this sample of work, I hope that educators are inspired to go through the student creation process as well when creating units of work. It will give you valuable insights that can help strengthen your units. In addition, if you're creating units of work for other people, it helps them to understand the end result of the unit and makes it easier for them to try out the units as well. AECT standard number five is all about research. In EdTech 504, I had the opportunity to conduct research on various different learning theories. In particular, the educational theory paper and contemplations on connectivism papers allowed me to conduct academic research into constructivism and connectivism. By reading journals and articles from a variety of different sources, I was able to take that information and synthesize it to further my own understanding of the two learning theories. I hope that in viewing this work, that educators learn more about these two theories and become inspired to stay current with academic research in the field of education. Research is not just about reading academic journals to learn about new theories, but also research conducted when creating and evaluating schemes of work. With EdTech 505, I had to conduct a detailed evaluation of a program that I ran. My work focused on the coding elective. In conducting research, I developed driving questions that guided my work throughout the process of gathering data and analyzing it. By undertaking the process, I learned more about my elective and had evidence to make changes. In viewing my work, I hope that educators are inspired to look at evaluating not just how well students did in a particular program, but also their thoughts and opinions on how a program runs. Their ideas could help make your units of work better and stronger. Links to my portfolio and the artifacts mentioned are included in the description box below. Thank you for watching.